This tool is banned in this country. Stay tuned to find out why. G'day boys and girls, today on the bench, three 12 volt baby chainsaws. Sorry, hang on, I just adjust my voice here. I like baby chainsaws! On the left we have the still Grand Theft Auto 26, on the right the Makita DUC 101, and at the back the Milwaukee M12 FHS. These are all 12 volt, but that is where the similarities end. Let's compare some features. The Still and Makita are sold as 4 inch chainsaws or 100 mil, and the Milwaukee as a 6 inch or 150 mil chainsaw. But in reality, this is not 2 inches bigger than these two. Not at all. If you measure the bar from where your timber would crash into the tool to the tip of the bar, which is supposedly what they're measuring, the bar length. This one is 100 millimeters. This one is 110 and this one is 140. When measured from the front, if you go from the back it has bucking spikes so you'll get even less than that. So in reality at best this is 30 millimeters or less than an inch and a quarter longer than the Makita but with the bucking spikes it's actually just under an inch. So don't be fooled by thinking that this Milwaukee is a couple of inches longer because as you see it ain't. One of the things that's quickly apparent between the three of these when you first handle them is that one of them is rather heavy. The Milwaukee substantially heavier feeling than the other two and of course the grip nowhere near as nice as the Still or the Makita because it's got that awful Milwaukee grip where the battery goes in they haven't managed to make it slimline like the still one. They've got you holding directly around the battery. And of course, when you push the trigger and the trigger lock, it pushes into your hand on the other side like so many Milwaukee tools. Why Milwaukee can't get that right? I don't know. As for the Makita safety switch, you push it down, pull the trigger, and the still probably has the best one of all because you can push it down on either side, or you can push it up. Doesn't matter, however you want to do it, it's up to you. The Still has a battery indicator on the tool, as does the Milwaukee. The Makita doesn't need it because it has one on the battery. The Still and Milwaukee batteries still don't have lights on them. The decibel rating for the Still is 90. It's also 90 for the Makita, and the Milwaukee comes in one less at 89. Now, I don't think I've yet mentioned, but of course the Milwaukee has its own name. It's not just... A chainsaw it's a hatchet all Milwaukee tools have to have a silly name to go with them the Makita has an oil reservoir for the oiler the Milwaukee has an oil reservoir for the oiler the Makita has an easy open cover here to get to your chain toolless it also has a very cool feature here that the other two do not. It has an automatic tensioner. It will automatically pop out. If you look at this pin here, just here, so it slides back and forward. So as the chain gets loose, as all chains or chains do, the bar will automatically pull forward and keep the right tension on your chain. You will have to loosen this slightly just to get it to pop out and then tighten it back up. If it doesn't pop out, you can just give it a, a quick little pull and away you go. Tighten it back up and you're good to go again. The Milwaukee is a bit more complicated in that it's just got a nut old school style and it has a scrunch on the tool here. It's not quite a screwdriver, not quite a wrench. What is it? It's a scrunch. So you undo it there and then you've got your screwdriver end to tighten or loosen your chain. You can of course take the whole thing off when you need to maintain the tool. Good solid looking construction here. We've got metal, 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 metal. Everything is, is that metal? Yeah, everything is metal of some description. Good to see. Now, when we come to the still, shit goes downhill pretty quick. And remember, this is a company whose primary function 
is to make chainsaws. So what I am about to show you may come as a bit of a shock. And when you take the cover off this one, once again, tallest, be careful when you put it back on because it likes sitting like this and that doesn't go back in the hole, but it will still let you do it up. And then it's not till you're done up you realize, oh shit, it's sticking out. So make sure you get that back in each time. But anyway, with this off, you may notice something. First of all, I'll show you the other side of the tool where the oiler is. Oh, oh, wait on. Oh, oh, hang on. No, where's the oiler? It's around here. Oh, oh, no, sorry. There is no oiler. You've got to oil it manually. This is a chainsaw manufacturer, remember? And um, when you want to tension the blade, you just um, turn the, um, the, oh, um, yeah, no chain tensioning screw either, automatic or otherwise. So all you can do to tension this is to put your cover on, do it up, get that to pop in, do it up till it's almost done up, back it off a bit, and just pull the bar forward, try and hold it forward while you tighten this up and just hope the pressure of that plastic pushing on the bar is enough still is a chainsaw manufacturer it seems strange that this tool is made by a chainsaw manufacturer in Germany this is made in Germany and yet they forgot two of the most basic things to look after the chain on your chainsaw this is clearly a chainsaw made for people who don't use chainsaws while we are bagging the still I'll also let you know this is a brushed tool, not brushless like the other two in this video. Before I've even made a cut, this tool is very low in my expectations. It's, I'm disappointed. No tensioner. What? No oil. And brushed. Hmm. You didn't try too hard on this one, did you still? Right, let's now look at safety features. For these to be allowed, in this market anyway, you have to have a hand grip on the top. Because these aren't one-handed chainsaw. These are meant to be used with two hands. One hand on the top, like so, and the other one on the trigger. And you have a guard here to stop your hand ever going in there, or to stop this from kicking back, like it's ever going to have the power to do that, and hitting you in the face. So there we go. Safety hand grip, guard on the top. Exactly the same as the Makita. Safety hand grip, guard on the top. Makita goes one step further and has a guard for your bottom hand here. Probably not to protect you from the chain because if that chain came off, it's too short to actually ever get around and hit your hand. But it helps just protect from other bits of wood kicking up when you're cutting and stuff like that. And the Milwaukee has that as well. And it's even got an extra one over the top of the top handle. But unfortunately, this is the thing that some of you will have clicked on this video for. This tool is not allowed in New Zealand. Now, if you're going to leave a whole lot of nanny state comments and liberal rubbish and stuff in the comment section, I will ban you, okay? Because I can't be bothered with tosses. So because it didn't have that, and I think also because the chain stops too slowly, the brake on the chain isn't quick enough, because the problem with chainsaws, they're, they're always rated with brakes. You know, they've got to have brakes. If a chainsaw kicks up a normal chainsaw, let's just grab one. I think maybe what they're doing is using the regulations they use for real chainsaws, where you have to hold it with two hands, or you're normally holding it with two hands. And if you get kicked back, your hand automatically hits that, brake goes on, your chain stops. And so they're two-handed, and they have a brake, whereas... They're using the same rules to try and pass these, and you can't have that big stupid brake system on it. So they've made them with two hands, okay? And because it doesn't have the brake, you've got to have this here instead. So if it pops up, you're not going into that with your hand, or it's not kicking up and hitting you in the face. Even though, like I said, these do not have enough power to do that. Um, not in the face, anyway. So I'm quite surprised the Milwaukee one didn't get through because it does have the handle on the top 
to stop you from putting your hand can't slip into the chain because you've got this in the way but maybe they're worried that people would grab this instead of this and then if this kicks up in any way or your hand slips you're going straight into that chain which I can kind of understand and it would be quite nasty oh look I've even put that cover back on wrong as well Jeez, you've got to be careful putting these covers back on. The Makita one seems to be the easiest to get on so far. Make sure you're paying attention and not looking at a camera while you're doing these things up. Got that cover back in there, but it's real tight fit around there. You've got to really squeeze it in there. It's very, very tight. So that is the reason, as far as I'm aware, that these are banned in New Zealand. And I've got it on good authority that Milwaukee are not going to fight that or try and modify this tool even though if it's the brake speed yeah then it's going to be a bit tricky to change if it was just a cover on there that doesn't seem too difficult but I've been told they're not going to bother so there Milwaukee is out of the market if you live in New Zealand so don't bother looking at this one in the video anymore just take a look at those two <laughs> So the reason I have one in my hot little hand is because I flew over to Australia a few days ago and bought one over there where the rules are slightly different. Right, so enough talk. Let's go actually see if they're any good. Oh, one more thing that the Milwaukee has that the other two don't have is this little hook hole here for hanging it up on a screw or something like that, which is quite nice. Nice and easy to just hang it up on the wall. Right, let's go <laughs> cut something right let's go cut something Are you kidding me?
Really still? Really? So it's taken the thumbnail for these 12 volt chainsaws. Now by 12 volt, they're really 10.8 volt. I know some of you probably already yelled at the screen, oh, the still's only a 10.8 volt. Well, they're all 10.8 volt, okay? 10.8 volt is 12 volt. It's 10.8 volt nominal, 12 volt max. Okay, just like 18 volt nominal, 20 volt max, 36 volt nominal, 40 volt max, okay? It's just kind of marketing. So, that aside, the thing I've noticed when I was taking the thumbnail photo was that the still and the Makita have the cover to get to the chain on the left and the Milwaukee has it on the right like a like a real chainsaw. Most chainsaws will have it on the right so the covers on the right, these two on the left. Just a little thing I thought I'd point out, not only that the Milwaukee doesn't have anything written on the left hand side of it, it's just blank red, whereas the other two have their names on both sides. The more and more I've used these tools, the more and more I like the still. 
although I still have a lot of major issues with it. The Makita. It's a good, nice, all-round little chainsaw, but the chain itself that comes with the tool is far too aggressive. And the Milwaukee, the most powerful, but the most cumbersome to use, the heaviest, the least comfortable in the hand, which, if you've watched my videos before, or use Milwaukee M12 stuff, you will know, it's not the most comfortably designed tools. And these tools aren't designed for most of us, most of you watching, you know, the regulars, you and I, we aren't going to worry about some of the features on these things as much as the people that are buying them because these are aimed more towards single use sort of users. I, by that I mean people who are going to buy this in a kit and that's all they're ever going to buy. They're only ever going to have this tool because they're buying it for their elderly relative or they're buying it for their wife. They're people that aren't tool users, they just want to do a bit of garden maintenance, they like getting out in the garden, trim a few things up, so they're not you and I, they're not us usual people, and a lot of those people will be watching this video right now as well, so this makes this review harder than a lot of the ones I would normally do. Um, so the still, as I got used to using it, I, I liked it more, like I say, because it's the most comfortable to use, because it has this small chain, so it's not bouncing around like the other two do. The Makita chain, as I just said, it's way too aggressive for such a small saw, it just bounces around too much, and that's possibly going to scare off the, the less tool inclined. How do I say this without offending people, because everybody gets so bloody offended by shit these days, but if you're a little woman and you're using that, you're going to think, wow, this is scary, it's bouncing around too much, whereas you use this much nicer, smoother cut. But this requires so much more maintenance to make it do that cut. You have to keep oiling it all the damn time if you want a good cut. If you want it to not keep cutting out, you've got to keep oiling it. The chain has gotten quite loose on it now, so you've got to then turn this and then pull the bar out, like I said earlier, and then try and clamp it down. But if you clamp it too tight, the thing just doesn't run. It has very low torque if it's not in the optimum range of, you know, it, it's got to have perfectly oiled chain and perfectly placed bar for it to really perform how you want it to. And the batteries deplete very quick. This is a 2.6 amp hour battery. The ones that I used on the other two are 2 amp hour batteries. Those are the closest I could get. Of course, you can put bigger batteries on these and so you might get a bit more grunt out of them. Um, but as far as I'm aware, you can't get one bigger than a 2.6 for the still. Um, I couldn't find any online. All I could find was a 1.5 and 2.6. And a 1.5 on this would be almost pointless. Whereas the Makita, you can buy a 4 amp hour, and this you can buy up to 6 amp hour ones, and you can get high output ones. So the Milwaukee, you're going to get more power. If you want power, that's the one to get. If you want pure comfort, that's the one to get. If you want runtime, this on the same sort of batteries. This one has depleted the quickest and it's got the biggest battery capacity. Then the Milwaukee, then the Makita. If you've watched my channel before, or if you know about these two companies, you'll know that Milwaukee goes for power. So the tools are a bit chunkier, a bit more cumbersome because they put big motors in them. Makita tries to go for more efficient motors. So the Makita's a lot lighter, a lot lighter, a lot more comfortable in the hand to use than the Milwaukee, but nowhere near as powerful usually as Milwaukee. Having said that, the Milwaukee still stalls easily as well if you... All three of these tools, you have to baby them a bit if you're used to using bigger appliances, shall we say. Um, if you're not used to using them, if you aren't used to pushing tools to their limit, then they're probably all fine. But the Milwaukee will cut out less than the other two, okay? It's got a bit more torque than the other two and a slightly bigger chain, so if it had a smaller bar on it, it would definitely be far better at torque than the other two. You may have also seen in the video, I was using some Milwaukee gloves, and I changed to Makita gloves, because I had these on, these Smart Swipe gloves. Um, I was testing them out, and Smart Swipe, meaning you can like use your phone and stuff, guess what, they don't work. Milwaukee, what are you doing? These do not work. I've tried it on my camera first, because I, I, if I'm wearing gloves, I, I have to be able to touch the screen on my camera, um, being that I review tools on YouTube. 
and it wasn't working on that and I thought nah, maybe it's a camera you know maybe it'll work on the phone doesn't work on the phone doesn't work on the laptop doesn't work on anything I tried over and over I tried different parts of the glove they just don't work um, so then I changed to the Makita ones which work brilliantly for the touch screen um, I have some other Milwaukee ones here which I'll show you in another video these ones have smart swipe as well and they do work but these ones totally different fabric and they just don't work so it's false advertising on those I'm afraid uh, these are the demolition gloves a little bit annoying they're not as comfortable as these ones either from Makita but they are perhaps a little longer lasting a bit tougher but you can feel all the um, seams and stuff inside them on your fingers which I don't particularly like so these ones are a bit more comfortable but I do have several other pairs I will be showing in future videos um, from Milwaukee which look very nice such as these ones these are goat skin they look very fancy so I will um, try them out in a future video along with some more simple night trial ones which like I say these ones work fine with the smart swipe I've been using these they work okay but for some reason these ones don't anyway that's got nothing to do with what we're really talking about right now got another pair of gloves somewhere too don't I also got a pair of these ones from Milwaukee which I'll be trying out as well so apologies to Milwaukee these do actually work but just here just in the four knuckle department so that's the only bit where you can use your phone which is a little odd because it's it's tricky to use your knuckle come on focus focus oh what are you doing there we go so you've got the glove on you bend your knuckle like that and then you can swipe on the screen of your phone which is okay if all you want to do is like quickly look at a text or something but if you actually want to try and type something with your knuckle it's a bit painful <laughs> I'd, I'd just end up taking the glove off to be honest because that would just drive me nuts so it works but yeah I saw it on this Milwaukee glove this weird black concentric circle area and I thought why have they done that is that a design thing or is that to play with your phone and sure enough written on the packaging there smart swipe touch screen compatible knuckle so I don't know do people type with their knuckles I don't type with my knuckle I didn't really realize knuckle typing was a thing anyway let's weigh these things eh this is the still with the battery attached and it comes in at 1.46 kgs so just under one and a half kgs pretty damn nice that's a good weight and it is comfortable in the hand. Now presumably the Makita and the Milwaukee will be heavier because they have oilers like chainsaws and they have a tensioner like chainsaws do. But anyway here's the Makita with the battery holy moly four grams different that was it four grams I think it was 60, uh, 64 on the on the other one oh, it's going down a little bit so that is the same weight as the still but it has an oiler and it has an extra guard on the front and it has a self tensioner and I already know this is the heaviest because well when you pick it up it's pretty obvious it also has an extra item there it has the um, the scrunch and it comes in at 1.991 so just under 2 kgs so that's basically a third heavier again depending on which way you do this this always confuses people this is a third heavier than the other two or if you start with this one and you took 25% off it you'd end up with one of the other ones so 33% on 25% off that's how percentages work anyway yeah 500 grams heavier half a kg and you can definitely tell anyway back to the chainsaws which one do I like the most there's a lot of crap on this bench today isn't there <laughs> there's also um some of this stuff coming up for review shortly if you're in the states does that say 40 there i think it might do anywho uh back to the chainsaws again which one do i like the most well that's a bit of a loaded question i'm going to tell you if you took the chain off the still 
and you took the power of the Milwaukee and you stuck them both inside the body of the Makita, then I think you'd have the perfect tool because the Makita has the best battery platform for sure for getting them on and off. I see a lot of people complaining online because like I say, they're not used to using all the M12 stuff and they have problems getting these in and out. And I sympathize, they're not the greatest design. And the still is basically the same design, but it's a little bit nicer, a little bit easier to get off. Um, but still nowhere near as nice as one of these slide on batteries. Cartridge batteries, never as good for getting in and out. So yeah, none of them are perfect. Take a bit of that, bit of that, bit of that, and then you'd have the perfect tool. But until such time, you're stuck with these, I guess. There are other brands as well, of course. And if you want more power from them, well, Makita do do an 18 volt one, which is much more powerful. I'll put the review up there and down there if I've already released it. And Milwaukee as well, of course, do an M18 hatchet as well, which has a longer bar. It's an eight inch bar. So that would be quite a cool little tool, um, but probably getting a bit heavy for small gardens, you know, elderly and people who aren't quite built up and used to using big tools. Whereas the Makita is identical in every way, size and everything, just takes a different battery. So if you want comfort, get the still. If you want power, get the Milwaukee. If you want something in the middle, I guess get the Makita. No, I still wouldn't get the still. <laughs> I can't get past them not putting an oiler on it. And it has less protection than the Makita. So you've got, if you're not used to using these things and you want protection, well this one's a bit better. Um, and that it's much more user friendly with the auto tensioning and everything than this. This, you've got to look after it more else it's gonna shit out on you. Um, yeah, so there we go. Make up your own mind and I'll see you on another chainsaw video shortly, probably. I like doing chainsaw videos. They are fun. Um, and there'll be plenty of other reviews, of course. So subscribe down there, up there, at the end here. Cheers. See you later.